many sellers today are very mystified by this, what is a real estate excise tax, which is a big number on a settlement statement when you get ready to close your home. With that, today we're gonna to kind of go through what it is, what, what exclusions there are, and then what we can do as far as understanding the process and, and where we go from there. My name is George Moorhead with Bensley Properties, and I've been practicing real estate for about 25 years. We have closed over 2,000 residential and commercial homes, and so we'll be able to give you some great insights of excise tax today versus the real estate excise tax that's gonna change in January 1 of 2020. Now, as we get into this, make sure that up in the upper right-hand corner, you give us a big wow, give us a heart if it's something that you really like to hear, and make sure that you share with your friends so that they understand that there's gonna be a change January 1 of 2020. Now, last week, we talked about some of the gifts that were given uh, for my birthday, which is on Halloween, and uh, one of them, as you guys might remember, was the Mr. Rogers calendar. Now, I was kind of making fun of this, and of course, you know, my buddy who gave it to me, you know, thought that was pretty funny, but what's really even funnier is we actually got a lot of comments saying, hey, you know, if you don't want your calendar, you know, God, you know, we'd love to have it, you know, our kids, you know, they enjoy watching Mr. Rogers, and, uh, and I was absolutely shocked because it wasn't just one or two, it was actually quite a few people. So. In, uh, in, a, in a, what is it, on November 18th, we're doing our Seattle Children's Hospital donation to the STRONG program. It's, uh, it's our way of giving back to the community. It uh, helps uh, children fight childhood cancers in which they've got two cures for, I believe it's the seven most common childhood cancers. Uh, Russell, uh, you know, our Seattle quarterback, he actually supports it. Go Russell, go Chicken Ox. Uh, I call him the Chicken Ox. But anyway, I thought, okay, well, let's do this. Mike, uh, who gave this to me, is always up for a good cause. Now, let's do an auction of this calendar. Now, anybody who wants to bid on this calendar, just put it up in the right. We'll call it off and say maybe on Tuesday, but here's the really good part. I will match, to a degree, I will match the donation, uh, and we will do that on our November 18th donation to Seattle Children's Hospital. And uh, anytime we can increase that donation, hey, you know, the kids are the ones that win, right? And because our goal is to donate $20,000 every single year, this will just kind of help. So let's have some fun with this. Donate, let's, uh, well, don't, I guess you're gonna buy the calendar, which we will send you, no postage cost to you, we'll cover that, uh, and I will match that, all right? Plus, We've also reached over 17,000 viewers on our, uh, our, on our uh, YouTube channel. And so my team said, hey, you need to put a challenge out there and uh, donate to Seattle Children's Hospital again. And I'm like, okay, well, let's do this then. If we get over 20,000 viewers this week, I will donate an additional $2,000 to Seattle Children's Hospital. Okay, again, the children benefit. And all you have to do is share it with your friends and whatnot and let's get over 20,000 and uh, we'll, we'll let you know when that happens because we'll also post uh, a copy of our check and our donation. All right, so with that, let's get on to what we're gonna talk about today. The real estate excise tax. It is a state tax that is given on the sale of property on the gross sales price of any property. Now that's residential, that's commercial, could be a manufactured home, whatever it is, anything that is real estate related, this, this gets taxed. Now. There are some exceptions to this. Let's say you're transferring uh, into an LLC. You buy a, a rental house and you're gonna put it into an LLC. And uh, there is no charge of tax for that as long as you stay the same percentage of ownership into this other entity. Now, there are some uh, governmental uh, uh, exemptions that, that come into play and they're all listed in the Washington Administrative Code. If you want that, we can go ahead and post it. Uh, there are very few reasons why you do not get this tax. On the whole, the billions and billions of dollars in real estate that we sell every year in Washington state, the state has historically gotten 1.78%. Uh, well, kind of 1.78%. So the state actually only gets 1.28% of that, and then 0.5% of that would go to a city or to a county. Now, 
There's also a $5 administration fee, just to let you know. Uh, this is what it is today. And we'll show you on the backside what the differences are. Now, in January 1 of 2020, this all changes, okay? We go to a four-tiered system depending on price point, okay? So the, in 2020, Gen 1, the first 500,000 will now only be taxed at 1.6%. So it's a little bit less, all right? But anything between 501 and 1 1.5 million is gonna be taxed at 1.78%, okay? So the next tier is from 1.5 million and $1 to 3 million will be taxed at 3.25%, all right? And then of course, uh, anything above 3 million and $1, it's going to go to 3.5%, all right? Now, let's talk about that a little bit. We're going to hit Mr. Rogers' magic board here. All right. So if we have a house at 750000 our first tier is going to give us an $8,000 tax. Then we need to add that to our second tier at 250000 which is going to come up with a $4,450 of additional tax, or a total of 12450 now, at this price point, you're actually going to save $900. That's awesome, right? Okay, so today, you'd be paying $13,350 to sell your $750,000 house, and you get to go out to dinner with the family, and maybe a movie, uh, for $12,450 after January 1. Really kind of where the break point is, is at the $1.5 million. So, again, our first tier is going to be at $8,000, at $8, almost at $800,000. Uh, and then the second tier, because we're going to go from the 501,000 to uh, 1.5, but we're only going to a million of that, that is going to be taxed at one or 17,800, okay? For a total of 25,800, again, it's a $900 savings. That is pretty much where that stops, because everything above that, you end up paying more, okay? Uh, it is the higher end commercial properties, your luxury homes, things like this, that are going to start to be impacted. Now, you might say, well, this is awesome for the average person. It is short term. Uh, as the state looks at it, I, I am sure they're looking at this as an investment in the state in the long run because as homes continue to appreciate, uh, this comes into play to where they actually make more money uh, since a bulk of uh, what we sell billions and billions and billions of dollars of commercial real estate. Uh, that is going to come into effect. So they are actually going to make more than they are today. Eh, nah, whatever, okay? So if you have any questions, email me, give me a, a quick call. You can uh, text us, leave a, a message up there. We'll answer your questions. If you need a breakdown, we're actually going to post a little pictorial that would guide you through it. If you have questions about other costs when you get ready to sell your home, just let us know. We'll send you just a, a line item of, hey, here are the typical, uh, here's the, the typical selling costs that you would look at. If you give us a price point, we'll, we'll let you know what your title costs would be, your escrow costs, your taxes, uh, any recording fees, everything that you would typically look at. And uh, of course, there's the proration of property taxes. Uh, we can help you out with that. Super duper easy. Uh, just let us know on some of the basics. Uh, we'll email it off to you if that's how you send it to us or whatnot. Uh, and if there's anything else, again, just put it up in the corner. Let us know. Now, again, don't forget, bid on Mr. Rogers. Let's see how much money we can get to uh, Seattle Children's Hospital on Mr. Rogers' calendar. There is even a backside to this. Look at that. I mean, how, how could you just turn something down like that? Give it to your kids. Very practical gift. And uh, if I end up keeping it, uh, I'm going to use it each week as uh, as our intro to our video and a Mr. Rogers comment. I'm just kidding. All right. Also, remember, share this with your friends. If we get over 20,000 viewers of this week, we will donate an additional $2,000 to Seattle Children's Hospital on uh, November 18th when we head down there. Okay? And in the meantime, you guys have an absolutely fabulous day. Uh, again, my name is George Moorhead with Bensley Properties. And if this did not clear up your real estate excise tax question, Leave me a question, we'll get you taken care of. In the meantime, have a great fall day.